guys what's going on welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am showing you as you may have guessed this delicious skillet pizza which is made with no yeast no cheese and no oven you will not believe how incredible it tastes and quite honestly one bite of this pizza and you wouldn't be able to say that there are all these things missing in this pizza well it may be missing but the ingredients that we use to make up for it are more than delicious we will be making our own tomato sauce you could buy store bought as well and use it on your pizza but i just love whipping up a batch of my own because it's so incredibly easy and of course our very own no yeast magic crazy dough is what we'll be using to make the pizza dough i showed you this recipe last week so don't forget to check it out on my channel on how you can make this incredibly easy dough that only takes about 10 minutes and the pizza will be ready in under 30 let's first make the tomato sauce i have here some tomatoes and some cloves of garlic which i have blended to a smooth paste in a blender and now i'm just going to transfer this to a saucepan I'm going to also take a little bit of water and just swish it around the blender so I get the rem remaining tomato puree out. Now I'm going to add some red chilli powder and some sea salt. The heat at this moment is on high. We want to bring this mix to a boil and once it starts to come to a boil, I'm going to add my vinegar and sugar and then I'm going to turn the heat all the way down to low and simmer this for 10 to 12 minutes. Right now it looks quite liquidy and that is just not the consistency you want because if you keep it like this it's just going to drip off the pizza as it cooks so continue simmering this for about 10 to 12 minutes not only will it thicken up the flavors will intensify and develop and taste so so good now you're going to keep this aside in a container as it cools down it will thicken even further now while that's cooling we'll start making our white sauce this white sauce is the magic ingredient that replaces the cheese so the first thing we want to do is add some ghee or butter and to that i'm going to add some finely chopped garlic and onions and just kind of sweat it off till the onions go transparent the heat here right now is on medium so you just basically like saute it for a couple of minutes you will see that the onions turn a little transparent when that happens we will add our all-purpose flour and salt mix so there's salt inside the all-purpose flour mix that i have placed here I've mentioned the quantities down in the description box below and it's all also available on my website. Just cook this on a medium heat for a minute, the flour will start to roast and when that happens, you'll slowly start pouring in the milk and one important tip when you do that is to constantly keep whisking because the flour in this mix is going to thicken up the milk into a lovely delicious thick cream and for that to happen and to make sure that it's a nice smooth paste well it won't be smooth because we have onions in there so it's not going to be a smooth paste unless you kind of blend that off but i really don't see the point so keep adding the milk and keep whisking once all of the milk has been added you will crank up the heat to medium high and continue boiling this for three to four minutes it will really start to thicken up i mean look how that is boiling away that boiling is also going to thicken up this white sauce into a thick luscious cream like consistency you want it to be thick because otherwise when you place it on the pizza and cook it it's all going to drip off the side and make the crust soggy and you do not want the crust to be soggy so cook this for about three to four minutes turn off the heat again place it or take it out in a different container and let it cool down to room temperature so that it will thicken as it cools further you could make these sauces beforehand like the night before so it's much easier to assemble everything the next day now this is our pizza dough now a good tip is i have used the portion that i have mentioned in the recipe last week that i the video that i posted now this recipe gives two chunky pizzas so the crust isn't thick it is like a nice doughy crust so i like it that way i like it to be a little more bread like if that makes any sense like a thick crust with a crispy bottom and a fluffy inside but if you like a thin crust pizza you can divide this dough into four portions each portion that you cut out depending on how you like the pizza shape it like so so that it gets nice and fluffy when you're not working with a particular portion of the dough always keep it covered with damp cloth so that it doesn't dry out i have dusted the work surface lightly and i've also dusted a little bit of flour on the top of the pizza dough as well and i'm just going to start rolling this into a thickness that i like so this like i mentioned earlier is completely up to you i like a thicker crust pizza so also bear in mind that 
although it looks thin right now like i've rolled it out pretty thin when you put it on a hot skillet it is going to rise and you're going to see that so that's the reason why i say that divide it into four portions if you want the thin crust and go as thin as you can now here i have a hot skillet and to that i am going to add some oil i'm just going to like swirl the pan around so the oil is evenly distributed and now i'm going to place my pizza dough on this hot skillet and you will notice now the magic will start to happen i'm also as you can see trying to spread the dough out to cover the surface area of the pan it's totally optional if you're happy with the way it is it's totally fine you don't have to so now the heat is on medium you don't want a super high heat or a super low heat as well and look at how the dough is starting to bubble and that is the fluffiest fluffiest pizza dough ever oh my god guys you are going to love this i have drizzled a bit of oil on top because now it's time to flip just check if the underside of the pizza dough has taken on color when it does flip it over and now the most important thing is to keep the heat on low you do not want this pizza to cook quickly because we're going to start assembling the pizza now so it's very very important for the heat to be on low throughout now so here is my thickened spicy tomato sauce see how much that has thickened and that's the consistency you want otherwise it will all drip from the sides and it will just make your pizza soggy and you don't want that so place that tomato sauce evenly across the circumference of the pizza and now look at this white sauce our very own cheese replacement i know you may be thinking that it looks lumpy really it isn't lumpy because remember we had added some onions and garlic in that as well so those are the finely chopped onions that you see just spread it as much as you can spread it evenly and now we'll start assembling our veggies the choice of veggies or meat is completely up to you i love keeping it simple with some onion rings some tomatoes and some capsicum what you could do is also add some mushrooms but if you're adding mushrooms cook them slightly before now i'm going to also sprinkle some pizza seasoning and then and just let it cook on a low heat for about 10 minutes the bottom will get so super crispy as well as the sides and the insides are going to have a deliciously open crumb and so so fluffy it tastes just like what a yeast bread would taste like but this is without yeast and gets ready in under 30 minutes so just continue cooking this on a very low heat for about 10 minutes you can even cover the top if you want but since there is actually no cheese there is no possibility of the cheese melting the pizza is ready and i just want to bite right into it the white sauce kind of looks like melted cheese at this point and it's incredibly tasty and addictive i really really hope that you give this pizza a go because it is so good and so so easy to make i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video i'll see you again next time until then goodbye and happy baking